Hi, McKenna. Thanks for sending your question. Let's go ahead and take a look at number 15, the first question you sent. We are given the dimensions of a rectangular solid, and we are told that it is 30 by 12 by 8, and we are asked to find the surface area. Um, I could just give you a formula for surface area, but it's a little complicated. I think instead we should draw a picture so you can see where it comes from. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of do the best I can to draw a picture of a rectangular solid here. And bear with me, I'm not much of an artist. Um, but hopefully this will make some sense to you. So here is this rectangular solid. Um, it's not a perfect cube, but it does have some sides in common. So we have this side down here that matches up with this side. And we have this side over here that matches up with this side. And then we have the front and back sides as well. So we have this side that matches up with this side. So we have a top and bottom, a left and right, and a front and back. Well, the top and bottom rectangles both have the same area as do the left and right rectangles and the front and back rectangles. They, those all share the same area. So this whole rectangular solid is made up of three rectangles of a certain area in sets of two. So the surface area of the entire rectangular solid is going to be two um, times the area of, we'll say, the top bottom rectangle plus the area of the left right rectangle plus the area of the front back rectangle. And we multiply that by two because those are coming in pairs. Let's go ahead and label the dimensions of our rectangular solid here so that we can find these particular areas. So I'm gonna try and keep this to scale. Let's call this big one 30. And we'll call this one over here 12 and we'll call the height eight. Let's go ahead and find the area of the top bottom rectangle. It looks like the area of the top re bottom rectangle is going to be 12 by 30. So I'm just going to put 12 times 30 there. That's just a times sim symbol. Let's go ahead and find the area of the left right rectangle over here. Hmm. It looks like the left rectangle, left right rectangle is 12 by 8. And now let's go ahead and find the area of the front back rectangle. If I take a look at the front back rectangle, um, it looks like that is 30 by 8. So let's go ahead and put that down there. And now it's just an arithmetic problem. Let's go ahead and do our multiplication on the inside first. Well, 30 times 12 is 360. 12 times 8 is 96, and 30 times 8 is 240. Let's go ahead and add on the inside of the parentheses here. We add all that together, we get 696 in the middle. Multiply that by 2, and we get 1,392. Let's go ahead and uh, put some units on that. I believe the units on this were centimeters. So the units on our um, calculation of area will be centimeters squared because area is in two dimensions. Now let's go ahead and take a look at your second problem, number 16. Um, they give us, again, a rectangular solid, and they tell us that the area of the base is 6 by 9, they don't give us the height, but they do give us the volume. 
and they tell us that the volume, I believe, is 810 centimeters cubed. And they would like us to find the height. Um, as you can see, I've already set up an equation here, and it's um, an equation that I've plugged into, given the particulars of your problem, but let me just go ahead and spell out what I did here. We know that volume is equal to length times width times height. Given that they gave us the length and the width, I plugged into that, and they gave us the volume, so I plugged in for that already. Let's go ahead and simplify on the left-hand side. 6 times 9 is 54. We still don't know what H is. That's what we're solving for. Um, the right-hand side will stay the same. To solve for H, we're going to divide both sides by 54. To get that H equals 15. H is just a unit of length, um, and length is in one dimension. So I believe our units on this were centimeters. Um, if I'm mistaken, because I'm not looking directly at your problem right now, um, go ahead and change that to the correct units. Let's go ahead and look here, though, just in case. Oh, it looks like the units there were in feet. My apologies. So this would be feet cubed up here. And the units down here would just be in feet. And that is the final answer to question number 16. Thanks again for your questions, McKenna, and I look forward to answering more of them using SnapMath in the future.